All right, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to talk about the second derivative. So far, we've been taking the first derivative, meaning we've been just taking the derivative one time. We're gonna start doing the second derivative, taking the derivative for a second time. You can continue to take derivatives on and on and on. We're just gonna talk specifically about the second derivative today. So what happens when we take the derivative a second time? So let's say we now have f double prime, the derivative of f prime, f prime prime of x. We call it f double prime usually. So just to make sure you understand what's going on here, I'm gonna do a quick example with a polynomial. We're gonna find its second derivative. Let's say that the function we have is f of x is equal to 4x to the fifth minus 2x cubed plus 6x minus seven. And let's find f double prime of x, the second derivative of x. So the first derivative, we're just gonna use power rule on each of these terms. I bring the five in front, I bring the three in front. The derivative of six x is just six. The derivative of seven is zero. So simplifying, I have 20 x to the fourth minus six x squared plus six. That's my first derivative. Then to take the second derivative, f double prime, I just do this again. So I bring the exponent four down in front, I bring the two exponent down in front, and then the derivative of six is zero. So I have 80 x cubed minus 12 x, and that's my second derivative of my original function. So truly you just differentiate once and then you do it again. That's how you get the second derivative. So to get us ready to really interpret the second derivative and what it tells us about the function, about the graph of the function, I wanna just review a little bit about the first derivative. So the first derivative tells us about where the original function is increasing and decreasing. We think of the first derivative as describing the slope or the rate of change of the function. And so the first derivative tells us the rate of change of the function values, so of the outputs of the function, how they're changing over time. Now we have the second derivative. So the second derivative does the same thing, except it's being applied to the derivative rather than the original function. So the second derivative will tell us about where the derivative function, which represents the slope, is increasing or decreasing. The second derivative tells us the rate of change of the slopes of the function. So the first derivative tells us how the function is changing. The second derivative tells us how the slopes are changing. This can be kind of hard to wrap our brains around because there's lots of rate of changes and slopes happening with all of these words. So try to be nice to yourself as you're learning this. It might be a little confusing at first, but hopefully with some practice you can get your brain around it. All right, so that's it for this video. I'm going to go into more depth about what the second derivative tells us about the function in another video where we talk about concavity and inflection points. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you in the next one.